hello and welcome to this video uh, this is, is kind of a new uh, video or series maybe I will uh, make more videos about this if I think it is required uh, but uh, most of the people don't know about the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology uh, that they offer a scholarship for the undergraduate uh, degree programs for international students so in this video I will give you the undergraduate scholarship program details and uh, some introduction about the KAIST um, first of all the major thing uh, is that KAIST is ranked uh, 41st in QS world ranking this year right so this is really high ranking or this is uh, the top ranking in Korea so we have only one university above this otherwise all the universities are uh, below this one so this is the one of the uh, two top universities in South Korea and all over the world it is ranked 41st so you can imagine the standard of this university or institute um, KAIST undergraduate or undergraduate scholarships uh, we will see the eligibility criteria and then documents uh, then application process and scholarship details and maybe some other details that uh, I will give you So let's start with the website. I will give you this uh, video or details uh, from their uh, website or web page uh, because um, I want to uh, actually uh, start from the first thing uh, they have uh, written on their uh, website and then uh, continue in the uh, sequence um, first of all this is a website for the admissions in uh, uh, or at KAIST uh, both the uh, degree programs undergraduate admissions and graduate study admissions uh, have different different links so I will go to this undergraduate admission link and I will click on website so this kind of link will open uh, and there are some applications details scholarship details notice meet KAIST and other things so I will give you both these links and you can open and further read it um, first of all we will go to the uh, if you want to directly apply then go uh, click on go and you can apply so this year the application and document submission started on uh, September 3rd and the last date is uh, October 2022 so there are two kind of uh, admissions you can apply to any and you will get the if you are selected you will get the same uh, scholarship or uh, there is no difference actually in the scholarship or other details but the deadlines are different uh, this year they are now accepting the admission applications for spring semester 2022 they call it sometime early uh, admission or early only and then some admissions are regular admissions right so we will see that uh, what is the deadline for both uh, the major requirement for this scholarship is that you are not the uh, Korean citizen uh, so most of the students or all students watching us are uh, not Korean so you can apply without any hesitation or you can uh, prove your nationality you can send your ID card if it is in English or you can send any other document proving your birth certificate or something proving that you are uh, not Korean national you are uh, your nationality is uh, from any other country right so uh, this was some uh, important detail and then before you apply we will click here and now that this this details application timeline procedures at a glance and required application material and forms so most of the time student ask me how to download forms how to fill it so if you click on this form then I will show you that how you can download this form and how you can fill it actually KAIST has three application cycles early regular and late so there is no difference if you are selected uh, but the difference is just a, a timeline or deadline and you, when you will join actually uh, if you apply now and uh, you can submit your documents before October uh, 22 uh, 2021 uh, then you you can join in sub, uh, this uh, spring coming spring in 2022 mean March 1st otherwise you can select also for fall 2022 so it means that early admissions for the uh, fall 2022 and the regular admission kind of regular admission for the spring 2022 
22 so this will be your choice that when you want to join when you will apply they will ask you right um, they will uh, admission announcement they will make an announcement on january 7 2022 and sometime it is late this announcement uh, is delayed so they will announce it by email if you are selected shortlisted then they can they will inform you otherwise you can check from your given portal as well for the uh, other regular admissions uh, you can apply for fall 2022 until uh, january 14 2022 so there is some relaxation for seven days to uh, submit your recommendation letters right so you can easily submit your recommendation letters that if you feel that your recommendation letter is late or delayed by the recommender or teacher so you can easily submit uh, the third uh, late admissions uh, for the fall 2020 semester will start uh, in March 1st 2022 and the deadline will be May 27 2022 right so this is the timeline actually for the uh, admissions uh, the timeline if you follow uh, on the deadline or last date you should submit uh, the, the forms before 5 p.m. Korean time so you should check that uh, what is the time in Korea that at that moment okay so they will sometime ask you for interview sometime they do not ask you for interview and they directly shortlist candidates if they feel that candidate is okay and his profile is okay after you pay the application fee you are not allowed to change your application track application track mean early regular or late it means that when when you want to join actually if you are selected so application fees is 80 dollar so if your profile I, I suggest you if your profile is really good and you or you can write uh, your documents or forms really well then must apply um, and if you feel that your uh, profile is not that much good then do not waste these $80 and complete your uh, undergraduate from your country uh, so you can pay it by credit card or something uh, in the details are given we will move on to the procedures at a glance uh, so what is the procedure uh, read the guidelines read the admission guideline carefully get familiar with the application process and the required materials you need to submit so guidelines are, are all provided here so you can uh, easily go to the uh, each tab and you can read otherwise you can go to the frequently asked questions and you can also uh, read the questions from different candidates and you will get the answer for your question as well download and fill out online application uh, visit our website and download form fill out your online application form completely according to the instruction and save the file you can download forms in form page okay if you click on this form page this page will uh, appear and we will see it later fill out applications please make sure that the information on your application is correct you cannot edit your application after you pay the application fee so before paying application fees you can add it anytime but after that you cannot pay uh, sorry you cannot add it okay so this is uh, and payment uh, pay application fees after uh, filling the uh, online application form or after downloading these forms and filling these forms you can uh, pay the fees after paying the fees uh, you will uh, add it or you will fill out the invoice that they will create automatically and then you can fill out and after paying you can again inform them uh, upload scanned copies of all these are the required things that you need to uh, we will see the documents in the next tab as well so uh, upload scan copies of all additional required materials on the application web page the uploaded scan copies must be clear and uh, legible or legal for those who cannot upload application documents due to specific reason please send hard copies of the application material to the admission office by a wire post by the deadline so if you cannot uh, upload these documents there is an option that you should send this with your application package or through the courier or post office mostly students ask us that how they can uh, send the application uh, or these forms so by the post and by the uh, courier service you may use the address sticker provided document submission put all the required documents in an envelope send your application package via registered post mail or express mail it can be TCS or DHL or um, 
any like in from pakistan you can post it by pakistan post or post office you may also visit our office and submit the documents in person if you are living or any of your uh, relative is living in korea they can submit it from korea as well uh, deadline is like given in the previous one and the postal address where you will send the documents after filling these and uh, like paying the fees you can send it to undergraduate admissions team and office of admissions kaist this is uh, number 102 and this is the address young boon soon building e16-12191 de hak ro yoseong gu dechon and 34141 is the postal code and republic of korea so this is address most of the student ask us where they should send these documents so this is the given address and you can mention their phone number as well i'm highlighting this because uh, mostly students forget this uh, address so note down this or uh, when you are sending documents you can watch this video again and uh, you can note down this one a recommendation letter must be submitted from your recommender before recommendation letter submission deadline so we will see that how you can submit your recommendation letter uh, check your documents after upload or sent uh, uh, check whether your documents have successfully been uploaded or sent Kaish does not contact you individually if you have any missing document your status will be incomplete okay so until your uh, status is com uh, incomplete uh, you should ch uh, check what documents is missing so upload that and they will change it to complete and then you can supply uh, send the supplementary documents uh, again before the document submission deadline so uh, Kais does not contact you individually. They will not contact you that your document is missing. It is your responsibility to uh, upload all documents or send all documents to their uh, office. After complete uh, of submission and document review, we will contact applicants individually if an interview is necessary. Please check your final admission and scholarship result at apply site. Okay, this is the apply site. So when you will make login, you can log in anytime and you can check the status. Here are the, uh, we will go to now, uh, required application materials actually, which is very important for the students. Application form is there, so you can download it and you can, here is this one document we will open it and we will see uh, what is required there so we, I'm saving this one and I will uh, make a separate video for this application form uh, but before that I am going to require application material right uh, there will be application form one recommendation letter sample is also given there uh, we will discuss in the next video uh, or maybe in the third video and uh, upload online high school profile uh, like um, you should mention or uh, you should get a certificate from your uh, school that this school is registered with this this board or this education ministry something and the profile that it is a valid school or it is uh, they certify that this student was the um, candidate of high school degree at their school high school or university transcript because you are applying for the undergraduate degree you should uh, submit high school high school mean 12th grade transcript mostly students in this phase do not know what is transcript transcript is result card where uh, your percentage or your marks out of 100 is mentioned for each subject for chemistry bio mathematics whatever is you have studied in your uh, 12th 11th and 12th grade they are mentioned there uh, and uh, with this you can also give the result card for 9th 10th class right in Pakistan we call it high school uh, 9th 10th and then the higher secondary school or uh, FSE for 11th and 12th so you can send both uh, English proficiency test report if you have IELTS well and good that it will uh, create more chances for you but if you do not have IELTS score then uh, go to your school principal office or uh, to college that ask them that you need English proficiency uh, certificate they will 
uh, write a certificate for you and i will i will discuss the sample in later uh, for english proficiency uh, certificate it is a simple kind of certificate just three or four line certificate that our medium of instruction and exams were in english so the student is good in english and he can study a bachelor's or whatever is the degree program in english at any university uh, standardized official test score report if you have any uh, score like uh, in pakistan if you have attended or you appeared for some uh, admission score or uh, sorry admission test in engineering universities or medical universities or whatever then please send the result card passport or national id uh, id copy so that they can see that your nationality is uh, maybe pakistan india or whatever is your country statement of financial resources so uh, there you uh, may need a bank statement or something mentioning that what is your financial uh, status if you are not getting the scholarship but if you are applying for the scholarship so it is not uh, that much important so i will uh, let you know how you can apply for the scholarships only for international candidates of korean origin um, this is not required because you are not from the korean origin and here are the forms given so application form online application form this is the online application form you will fill online then recommendation letter uh, i will download this one and invoice for application fees these all i will discuss in a separate video now i will go to the scholarship details uh, for the kai scholarship how much you get uh, for the undergraduate applicants of international student admission uh, if you get admission and uh, during the applica online application form you will mention that you want to apply for the KAIST scholarship for undergraduate degree program and full tuition fee uh, then uh, your tuition fee for all eight semester is covered through this uh, scholarship you will get three hundred and fifty thousand korean won it means almost 350 us dollar per month for the living expenses this is almost okay that you can even uh, you can live here in south korea uh, if you want to live a simple life but with this maybe you need a small support from your um, parents medical health insurance they will provide you this one so the most important things are full tuition fee they will cover and they will provide you 350 korean uh, 50000 korean won or 350000 korean won per month to students who are on scholarship uh, they uh, we offer kai scholarship to admitted students all international students those who have applied for this scholarship and student must maintain gpa over 2.7 out of 4.3 uh, this is uh, a general requirement and it is very easy if you are uh, just uh, attending the classes and appearing in exams uh, you can maintain this easily because everything is in english and you can easily um, get this this or more than this uh, gp or cgp application period we have already discussed and selection procedure all of the application will be reviewed thoroughly and equally during the admission process if you are finally uh, or you finally get the admission you will be automatically receive the archive scholarship okay so this is the details of the scholarship i hope you got the information or basic information and if you feel that you can apply or you are interested uh, for the application then you can watch our next videos for the cost scholarship for undergraduate programs right thank you so much uh, you can follow us on facebook and instagram with the educational journey or you can search educational journey in instagram and facebook thank you so much